brand new series of historic fun and learning brought to you by the Education Department at Andrew Jackson's Hermitage. During this time we're closed, each week we'll bring you stories, crafts, and other activities to help keep you connected to history. My name is Kira, and for this very first episode, we're going to focus on a toy called the Thaumatrope, or Wonder Turner. Now this toy is special because you find it not only in books of children's toys and games, but also in sources discussing scientific research. So in the 1858 Sociable, A Thousand and One Home Amusements, you'll find it saying that a thaumatrope is something that every child can make. And then you'll find the 1826 Edinburgh Journal of Science calling it a very ingenious philosophical toy. And there are many more sources. So what is a thaumatrope or wonder turner? It works on the science of optics. The principle that when you look at an object, it stays on your eye for anywhere, according to the historic sources, from an eighth of a second to a sixth of a second. Not very long, but long enough for it to join with the next image you see to create a combined image. And so that's what the thaumatrope toy does. So with the thaumatrope toy, there are two different images on either side of a small piece of cardboard. These are from books of the time with popular choices. A bird in a cage, a mouse in a trap, a donkey and a rider, a horse and a rider, and a juggler and balls. You'll see that some of the images are upside down as a reminder to you that because the toy turns, you'll need to make sure the images are upside down to each other when you create it. So what you'll need to make your thaumatrope or wonder turner, are you gonna need a piece of cardboard? These are recommended sizes from historic books. A three by five inch rectangle, or a circle that's two and a half inches in diameter. I'm going to do the circle for my toy today. You'll also need scissors. You'll need paint to create your design. Or if you wanna go a little more modern, markers or crayons will do just fine. A piece of silk thread you just happen to have around the house, or you can substitute string. You're going to need a hole punch. Or if you don't wanna use string, you can use two round wooden toothpicks, as long as they're very smooth. If your cardboard is not light colored, you're going to need a light colored piece of paper and also some glue. So this is some paste I made from a historic recipe from 1844 for a common paste for paper. So by boiling flour and water together, it creates a jelly-like substance. And so this is what I'm going to use for my thaumatrope. But feel free to use any bottled glue that you have at home. For my design, I decided to go with the 1826 bird in the cage. There is an Andrew Jackson connection to that. If you've ever visited the Hermitage, you might remember that Andrew Jackson bought his wife Rachel a pet parrot named Paul. And there is existing a receipt from June of 1827, just a year after that book was published, showing that Andrew Jackson paid $25 for that parrot. Paul was an African gray parrot. So I've decided to color mine with the colors that Paul was, with that distinctive red tail that African gray parrots have. So when you draw your design on, be sure that one side is upside down to the other. And if you're gluing it on, you'll need to be careful in the same way. So, you're going to take your paste or glue and spread it on one side of the cardboard. And your cardboard will need to be the same shape as the picture that you paste on top of it. And so we'll glue Paul the parrot on and then just smooth it down to keep it flat. And then you're going to flip it over and make sure that the picture that you do on the back side is exactly upside down to it. Now, if you were going to use toothpicks instead of string, this is the point in which you would add your toothpicks in. 
So after you've put on your glue, you would then put your toothpicks on the sides, just like that. Add a little more glue to the top of the toothpicks and then sandwich your picture with the toothpicks in between. But for the string, that would be the next step. And then double check yourself. Make sure that your two pictures are upside down to each other. And then smooth the second piece that you've glued to the top. Now you'll wanna set it aside and let it dry. But for the purposes of this video, we'll just keep going. You will need two pieces of string. They don't need to be very long. But you'll need one for each side. And if you don't have a hole punch, you can use other items in order to make holes for your string. So here I just have a push pin and I'm using that to start my hole on each side. It's stronger if you do this when your glue is dry and that's why I recommend it. And then to make the hole large enough, you probably need to put something else into that push pin hole. This is a knitting needle the kind used to make socks in the 1800s. And this is the perfect size for my string. Next, you'll thread a piece of string through one side, and then you'll tie it off so that one side is short and one side is long. And just make a double knot. And the same on the other side. Feed it through the hole you've punched and then make a tight double knot. If your short ends are still longer than you'd like, you can just trim them shorter. And now's the chance to see if you have the wonder in your wonder turner. So the historic books describe taking your piece of silk thread with your thumb and forefinger and then giving it a twirling motion. And so ideally, one picture will blend right into the other so Paul will look like she's in her cage. Now, some people didn't think the strings worked all that well. The Edinburgh Journal of Science says, those who have used the thaumatrope must have been dissatisfied with the general effect of the two combined pictures. There was a hobbling motion arising from the imperfection of the method adopted to produce the rotary motion, which entirely destroys the effect. But there are solutions, such as one found in this book from 1862. Now this shows a thaumatrope being made with an ordinary playing card cut in half with the bottom part glued upside down to the top part. You cut a piece of wood with a slot in it and insert brass tips in the side. And so you're actually turning your thaumatrope with those brass tips. A rather elaborate arrangement, but you can have a similar effect by using the toothpicks. And here's one that has had a chance to dry. And so for this, you'll just roll the toothpick in your fingers and try to get a smooth effect. And so for some people, the toothpick is easier to work than twirling those threads. There are many other designs that you can use for your thaumatrope. Some other options given from books in the 1800s go from simple, like a picture in a frame, a candle in a flame, a rose tree and a pot it's in, a head and a hat, a tightrope and a dancer on it, or even half of a sentence on each side or halves of letters or words on each side. For the complicated designs, you'll need to make sure that you've practiced so that the two images will line up. It's very easy when drawing a horse and a rider, for instance, to have the rider end up floating above the horse rather than sitting properly on its back. But please don't feel limited by these designs. Even in the past, they encourage you to use your imagination. The sociable from 1858, after giving you some ideas, ends with, but we leave it to the ingenuity of our readers to devise for themselves. 
And so we leave it to you to devise for yourself what you want for your own thaumatrope or wonder turner. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Fun and Learning with the Education Department at Andrew Jackson's Hermitage.